I got involved with Shannon uh, when I was six years of age. I got involved in Shannon approximately 30 years ago. Well, first of all, I was a supporter. I was a supporter back in the 70s and the 80s. I don't know of any other club in the country, in soccer, in uh, rugby, in GAA, that so passionately and openly supports a charity that works with children and young people. Um, uh, and I'm really proud of the fact that they do. We've had a myriad of stars out of Shannon in the mm -hmm. last 25 or 30 years. Huge names, huge names in world rugby, really. Mm -hmm. but, but, you know, I mean, another thing I'd like to say is that when, when players progress through our ranks and they go on to the Munster and the Ireland's of this world, you know, we, we, we celebrated that and we rejoice in their elevation to that level. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I mean, we constantly took massive pride when you'd read an Irish programme with number eight Anthony Foley, Shannon and Munster after it. I mean, that, 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 that was something that you simply couldn't buy, you know. Back in the day, we were outside in a Dunkard and places and out to Toman Park. I remember um, training, like swimming in the Abbey River, no dust rooms and things like that, you know. But it was great to be a part of this club. To me, Shannon is everything. Shannon was everything to me and is everything still to me. I'm very proud to be a president last year and back in as president again this year. I think it's a labour of love, really, and that's been absolutely honest. I met great friends at Shannon and they're enduring friends and they're, they're people that uh, I've no doubt I will remain friends with until I finish in this world. They're, they're, it's that kind of place. It's a family club. I love it. Simple as that. Today is the fourth annual Good Friday tournament. We have 46 teams. We have eight teams uh, across four age groups uh, representing Shannon today, under 10s, under 11s, under 12s and under 13s. A team visiting from Italy, we have teams from Dublin, Cork, Galway, Tipperary, Clare and of course we have our local teams from Limerick. Every single person here today is on a voluntary basis. We've got referees from MAR, Without them, we wouldn't have been able to hold the event. We've got parents, we've got coaches, uh, just about everyone involved at any level in the club has, has been helping out here today. Well, I think it's, it's vital to have players come through your own club because I think they really buy into the culture of the club and they can be really important to the fabric of the club and actually really do all the, the dark stuff that people mightn't always want to do, but when, when the chips are down, a lot of the time they can be the fellas that will actually go that extra mile for you, if you like. Um, and they'll obviously be the ones who kind of carry the burden for want of a better way of, of trying to drive the club forward. One thing we wanted to do really when taking over was just to make fellas enjoy coming out to training in particular again. So just to try and foster a, cer a certain little bit of um, an environment there where fellas actually want to be here and that they're not in such of a rush to check in and check out. And I think that has actually, that has stood to us as well so far because I think fellas are operating here with a bit more of a smile on their faces. I don't know what you had in mind, but here we stand on opposing sides. Let's go to war. Let's go to war! Sound. Maybe we can wait each other out. It's a call.